Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and we're designingtechtips.com. Well, we've got a great little one for you today. We've got this flip card carousel. And to do this we're using the fantastic Divi Plus plugin. Divi Plus comes with 50 modules and 4 extensions and there's a lot of them here. And we've done a few videos on this before and it's a great little system. So what we're going to do today is just do this little flip card here. Really easy to do, so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable my Visual Builder. And we'll go down and get rid of this module right here. Now if you enjoy this video today, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It lets me know whether I need to make more videos on a specific topic or not. Okay, let's get rid of this. I'm going to hit the little X to add a new module. We'll roll down. All these ones with the DP in front of them are the ones that you get with the Divi Plus. And as you can see, there's plenty of them. The one I want today is DP Image Card Carousel. Let's move this over to this side. Okay, nothing found because we haven't put anything in here. So this is our main image card carousel interface here. We'll add one, a new one. Give it a title. I'm going to use a bit of dummy text here, Lorem Ipsum. And I'll add that to the content there. Image. And we can grab that image for our flip card here. As you can see, that's displaying at the top of our card here. You can put an alt text in if you want. Really, that should be a description of the actual image for people that use screen readers. A lot of people use it for keywords and geolocation data. Use it how you will. Now, you can put an icon over the image if you want to, but I'm happy to leave mine just as it is. But you've got all the elegant themes icons to choose from should you wish to use them button or we can show a button if we want to read more yeah i'll leave it just like that obviously put in what you want to put there put the link into where you want to take them right there as with everything else if you're linking to your own site leave it in the same window if not open it in a new tab that way your site stays open down below you can link the actual whole module so you can have a different link for the button and the module in this little box right here. I'm happy with that. I'm just going to leave that just as it is. I'm going to go to my design now. Go to my text and put everything in the middle. Title and content. I think I'll make my title a bit bigger than that. Let's make it bold. Blue. And let's bring it up a bit in size. There we go, something like that. And this will change when we change the layout of our actual card slider, but we had to put something in here to see. Okay, icon, button. I'm going to style my button slightly. I'm going to give it a blue background color. When they hover over it, I'm going to make it turn purple. So hover over where it says button background there. Hit the little arrow. We've got a desktop non-hover state. I want that to be blue. And a hover, little mouse icon. And I want that to be purple. Great. I want to change that text color so we can see it. Fantastic. Okay. Let's just put a little board around our card and we're good to go. Here's our border. Just going to give it a single pixel just like that. Now let's pop a bit of box shadow in there. Now the reason it looks like this, by default, it's kind of trying to put in three slides because we're looking at a regular carousel there. So if we're happy with this, let's just save that. And in our main slider right here, you've got carousel effect, slide, cube, 
cover or flip. I'm going to use flip. There we are. That looks a bit more like it. Now when we add more, it's going to flip from one to the other. That will enable loop. That will enable it to go round and round. Definitely want to leave auto play on. It's going to pause on each one for three seconds or 3000 milliseconds. Just type in larger numbers to make it slower and smaller numbers to make it quicker. It's going to pause on hover. I like to leave that on like that. Transition durations of one second time it takes to actually flip from one to the other. You can show arrows if you want. I'm going to show just some dots. Arrows would be either side if I put that on. There's an arrow and an arrow. There's no pagination there at the moment because we've only got one slide but if I leave that on it'll show up. And you can have dots, stretch dots, lines, rounded lines, square dots. I'm going to put a line in. Like I say, that will become apparent when we add more slides. So great, presuming that we're happy with that, let's add more slides. I'm just going to duplicate this first one because it's got all my styling with it. Just going to go in, change the image and the title, just so we've got something to see. Same with number three here. Okay. Let's just save that a minute. Everything's looking good. Let's save our changes here. Save our page changes. And exit the visual builder. And there we go. There's our little flip card carousel. It's going to number two there and number three. Really easy to do. Like I say, we've been using the Divi Plus plugin from this, so you can find the link below the video. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.